Hey, this is Joe Mana with Infusionsoft. I'm going to answer Myron's question, asking about how he can separate the list of people he sent an email to who did not open it, so we can resend a copy to those who did not open it. So basically what he's trying to do is send an email to those who did not open up an email that he sent. Uh, with Infusionsoft, it offers tracking, so you know who opens your email, clicks on what links, and you can also run actions on those at any time. Now, for this example, I want to make it very clear that you want to be careful with this because just because we didn't detect uh, someone opening up an email doesn't mean they didn't open it. Uh, this is because different email clients have different settings that restrict images and it will only detect and open if images are allowed through or if they click the link that is tied to Infusionsoft. So with that said, I'm going to show a very exaggerated example of how you would track this and you can run an example off of it. Um, so and we've done it in the past and it works uh, very well, but we think it through very carefully to make sure that people receiving it receive the best uh, message from it. So uh, from an Infusionsoft uh, account, you log in and then you click onto reports and view all reports. Uh, once you're there, you're going to look on the left side for marketing. It might already default to this, but you just click on the marketing reports, scroll down and click onto email batch status. And then from there, um, I'm going to pick up a, a report. I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm going to look at a broadcast that was sent recently, and that's going to be this one. I'm going to click onto view report. Then it's going to show me a quick output of the performance of that email. Uh, just so you know, this is a training account that I'm logged in, so definitely the results are a little skewed here. So I'm going to click onto the delivered part of the uh, pie chart there, and then you'll notice another report comes down below it. Obviously, 25 people did not open it, which means those were invalid email addresses um, yeah, that we might have sent to as a test. And you're going to see a little blue section, which is opened. Um, now, normally, what you'll probably also see is clicked as well, opened and clicked. So what you can do, um, we're going to click on the people uh, that have nothing, click on that, and that will give you a list of people where no activity was tracked, uh, such as opens, clicks, uh, or even the time that the link, or the, what, what type of link was clicked. So from here, we're going to click onto the I want to menu, and you could optionally uh, send a broadcast right from there and send them another email, or you can add tags to them or run additional actions later on. So to do this, we're going to do send a broadcast, and it walks you right through the wizard, and you could finish up and send a broadcast to people who did not send your email. And again, I caution this because not all email clients will necessarily render uh, your email as opened, so you want to be careful with uh, how often you use that tactic. But yes, you can totally segment and send follow-up messages to people who might not have uh, clicked your link or opened your message. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet us by tweeting at Infusionsoft. Thanks again. Bye.